What's up everyone, Sag here, and today I've had this request quite a bit. We're going to learn how to make a good custom pack. Um, and first, I actually want to go over for free-to-play players. So I think free-to-play players have the most trouble with custom packs because you're missing, I mean, all of the most important pets. Uh, arguably Jellyfish, Pug, Panda, you're missing Blobfish, you're missing um, Clownfish. You're missing starfish, all these fish you you are missing. Um, but regardless, I think we should go over how free-to-play players should make their pack. So, of course, you have all the pack one pets, you know, ant, beaver, yada, yada, up until pig. And then it starts pack two pets when you get the beetle. Goes until um, you hit pack three pets right here at cockroach. And then uh, stops again at pack three. And then you get into the custom pack slash weekly pack pets only at Chinchilla, Frill Dragon, uh, Marmoset, and Moth. I think Chinchilla is... Um, yeah, Chinchilla is pack pack one only. Or sorry, um, weekly only. Um, and then you get into, of course, pack four. I wish the custom pack only pets would be at the very end always, but uh, as they add more pets, you know, it's they don't really care that much. Uh, understandably. But anyways, the... The most, I think the most important pets that you need to include in your custom pack for free to play players would be something like Moth. So replace, you know, anything that you don't particularly like. Say, like, if you never buy, sell pig, um, buy, sell isn't the best for pack one. So you could get rid of pig. You could potentially get rid of cricket. I think all the other ones are pretty important. You could get rid of horse. But I think Moth is one of the strongest tier one pets. Uh, Marmoset is also very good as it's a 2-3. If we go down into uh, pack two, um, there's not too many crazy, crazy ones. But Goldfish, Goldfish is incredibly strong, especially paired with Swan. So you get a lot more gold efficiency. Raccoon is also incredibly powerful. If you get it uh, uh, scaled up very, very big, you can definitely stomp some opponents because, of course, equipment is key. Toucan and uh, Wombat, sadly, not they're not going to cut it. If we go into Tier 3, uh, it's Tamarin. Emperor Tamarin all the way. Aardvark Bear, not really too good. Now, you could, I could see you using Seagull or Wasp. Seagull could be potentially okay in some packs, um, or with some pets, like, say, using Mushroom with, like, a turkey type of build. But, honestly... The, I think the most important thing Seagull actually has going for it is actually Croissant. And you can't get Croissant without pack 3. So uh, Tamarin is always going to be uh, what you want to see. It definitely helps you uh, shift or pivot into the later game by giving a big tier 5 or tier 6. So that's uh, important to look out for. Tier 4, uh, Dragonfly. Straight up Dragonfly and Lynx are super, super powerful. Is Mole in pack three? I, f I thought it was. It's actually not. Um, but Mole is decent. Mole is decent too. It's It could be better than something. Um, it just sort of depends on what you're going for. Tier four has always been notoriously extremely strong. So it's going to be hard to find a replacement for Mole. But Dragonfly and Lynx, those two you definitely need to have included. We move on to tier five. Now tier five is a bit finicky because... The tier 5 pets aren't that good. Now you can include Lionfish, which is probably the best one. Moose would have been, but now it, it was nerfed. But Lionfish with uh, weakness, there's actually no possible way to get weakness in pack 1. So Lionfish is probably going to be your go-to. Don't even look at Hyena. Um, and then tier 6, we already know Alpaca Lioness. It's incredibly strong. I mean, you can get Tapir in here. Pill Tapir still works. Uh, you can get Walrus, you can get White Tiger. They are just nowhere near as good as these two. It's also really nice to have shop scaling um, when you otherwise couldn't have it. You, you could use Cat Can, but I mean, maybe alongside with Lioness, you can actually have something work out a bit better. Chicken, of course, is pack two, so you can include that. Um, and yeah, the, so... You just have to find out what you're going for. I think that's the biggest thing with creating a custom pack is you really, really have to know what you're going for. So if we look at my custom packs here, I have a food slash squirrel. I mean, it could just easily be called a food build where I 
focus very heavily on food. So if we go especially to the the later ones, like I even have Fox in here, which is uh, arguably pretty bad. I've got seal, I've got cow, I've got basically every good food pet that you could possibly want. Um, now some, of course, I change it up every now and again because you don't, <laughs> you go for different things at different times. Um, tier six, of course, like there's not too many food pets, but if you get them all together, again, we've got sauropod cat. If you get them all together, you're going to have a very, very strong um, food build. And then, of course, getting good food is also a, a must in a food pack. So, of course, I got pretzel chicken leg. Now, you could easily get hot dog or orange in here. But again, this is only for people with pack three. And um, let's um, I'm actually going to go off on a little bit of a tangent right now. If you are a free to play player and you want to get into custom pack uh, playing, and you feel like you aren't getting enough, like you're you're just always one step behind, Star Pack. I, I think this is probably the only purchasable pack that you would need to actually get in to feel like you are on the same power level. And that's because of Clownfish, uh, Blobfish. These two are S tier. They have been since release. They're incredibly strong. And then you can add Starfish too. You can actually start buy selling. You can use a little bit of Strawberry. Strawberry is also very strong. I have a strawberry pack here as well. And um, so moving back into my custom packs, they're all made for a specific thing. Food for food. Greed has always been for using chicken to make 50-50 shops. It's also used now for the infinite uh, Pteranodon Apier Oyster build. Of course, I have Donut in here as well. Uh, and of course, a greed pack has always just been insanely strong for winning. Uh, Hurt Pet. Or my hurt pack is, uh, you guessed it, all the hurt pets. So I've got uh, elephant, peacock, uh, frigate bird. We've got guinea fowl in here, camel. So any anything like that, we go to here. I even got piranha in here. Um, my winning pack. Now my winning pack is more is definitely a lot different than the other ones. This one doesn't have like a main uh, idea, a main focus. What it is mainly for, I say it's mainly for summons. But it's actually mainly for going whatever idea that I want at the time. So we get, of course, the strongest pets that I believe will work with it. And then I I filter out which which ones that I'm actually, which pets that I'm actually sort of forcing to, to do the build for. So for a while, um, like with my Rhino build, I had Rhino in here. I probably had it uh, swapped for like Microbe or, or something or Scorpion. I don't know. And then, of course, I had Donkey in here to, to complement that. And that's sort of what you do. You just kind of pick and choose what you want to complement uh, the build that you're attempting to go for. So I, I like to have a pack like this. We have a Faint one. I haven't done anything with uh, that in a while. A Mantis pack specifically for Mantis, Shark, Musk, Ox, Ox, stuff like that. Strawberry for Strawberries. And then Trumpets for Trumpets. And, um, I mean, that's, that's basically, I feel like what you should do is have a, a pack specifically for certain things that you're going for. And then one overall pack that you switch up quite often to, uh, fit with what you need. And of course with, with your packs, like with my greed pack, I still switch it up. Um, I'll go in here and be like, oh, well, I want to get a five of a kind with, um, I don't know, we'll just say five ostriches. So I would look in here, it's like, well, what do I don't need? Um, what do I don't need for, for tier six? Let's say I don't need Pteranodon because I'm not going for the infinite uh, tapir build. So I would just put ostrich in instead of Pteranodon and boom, Bob's your uncle. Now we go for five ostriches. And even with ostrich, I might even put in moose because it complements it very well. The only problem is that with moose, you can't freeze. So if you find an ostrich in the shop, you can't even freeze it anyways. It's kind of bad. So it kind of just depends on, on what you're going for. So let's go back into this pack and I would say let's make one. But I, I feel like we don't, we don't need to make one, do we? To me, I feel like we don't need to make one, but I think let's do it anyways. So if I look at all of my pets here, 
we go with what is the strongest pet. Let's just make let's just make a really good custom pack with all the pets. What is a really strong pet? Fish. Fish has always been incredibly strong. Like I said, moth, otter, um, bluebird is really strong, but it, again, it depends on what you're going for. So let's just go with very strong pets. Ant, beaver. I think beaver is a lot better now that it's a 3-2. Marmoset, silk moth, um, possum. Anything that's a 2-3 is normally very, very good, especially it's a, if it's a 2-3 that can help you pivot into something else. And you know what? Let's just include bullfrog. Food, I think the tier one foods almost don't matter at all unless you're going for a strawberry or a blueberry type of deal. I almost never take egg. I almost never take cookie. Um, I almost never take honey. I think apple, peach, or bacon is always what you want to do. Tier two, dodo. Spider, pilling spider has always been amazing. Swan, pug, uh, stork. If you look at any of my packs, you will probably always see these four pets. That they're just incredibly strong, always have been. Jellyfish, um, flamingo. I always like to pill flamingo. If we're not going for buy sell, there's no point in me picking shrimp. I could pick up panda if I wanted to, but let's say doorhead ant. Uh, we don't do crab around here. We could pick up raccoon, but I normally like to do stoat because, like with tier two, you're not really going to keep any of them unless you do like jellyfish or bat or something. Um, and then I say one more, probably African penguin. I think even after it has been nerfed, still a very good pet. And then I think um, pill, always. You always need pill in every single pack that you have. And then it's sort of up to you. If you want trumpets, you go here. If you want to do a faint type of build, you go chocolate cake. My personal favorite is croissant broccoli. I like croissant more than fried shrimp because you just slap a croissant if it if it sits for three turns, it is immediately better than a fried shrimp. And then broccoli, of course. I think broccoli is just better because I think having health immediately is slightly better than having attack immediately. Especially for the, the lower end. And then once you get towards the higher end, like you could make a case for fried shrimp being better. I mean, you could even make this case. Just don't mess with any of that. Just have fried shrimp broccoli. Probably better in a uh, only food oriented pack. You don't really want croissant. We go to tier three, blobfish, clownfish, starfish. Well, if you're going by self, starfish, but blobfish, clownfish, uh, camel leech. If you have a bulldog in your pack, you automatically need leech. And if you have leech, you might as well run camel. We have emperor tamarind. We have musk ox. Um, I really like owl. Again, that's a thing with uh, starfish. I really like beta fish being able to pill almost anything. Makes me feel very, very good. And if you're running musk ox, that's even more incentive to run it. Uh, Cappy is extremely good for pivoting. Um, I think flea is actually insanely strong, especially if you can get a mushroom on it. Um, so you know what? We'll take it. And then I, I think every single one of my packs has my son in it. I, I don't know a single pack that doesn't. Even though he's not at the same level as he was, he never will be. But I always include him just <laughs> just for the memes. If we go for tier three food, my favorite is garlic. I think garlic will will make you win games. The amount of games I have won from throwing a garlic on an early tier three and just letting it sit there for the entire game is immeasurable. Um, and now we actually have some decently hard options. If you're going snipers, you go pineapple. Lettuce is actually a very, very decent as opposed to how it was before because now it does uh higher tier shop pets so i honestly almost never take salad i would rather take lettuce i like pickle if i like pickle if i don't take croissant because then they they kind of fight with each other i like lollipop a lot especially if you're running something like uh salamander if you're running shrimp shrimp salamander again very good buy sell um Let's take avocado and let's take eggplant. I've been a very big fan of avocado and a very, very big fan of eggplant recently. Now, we don't get any, like, food scaling through this, but we're not running rabbit, so I don't really care too much. Tier 4. Now, Tier 4 is hard. 
Tier 4 has easily some of the best pets in the entire game, but you know what has always been the best pet in the entire game? Turtle. That's right. So we always take Turtle. You can always pill it at any time once you get to Tier 4. Um, Crow, the ability to get more experience, again, has always been insane. Um, now... Now we start getting into things that, you know, if your preference, like, you could choose Orangutan over Sea Lion. This only gives health, though. I think Sea Lion is a little bit better in terms of, uh, like, adaptability, in terms of, like, choosing what direction you want to go. I like Dragonfly. I think Dragonfly is better than Penguin. However, you can include both. Skunk is insanely strong. Always has been. I think we take Buffalo even. Buffalo is just unreal. I don't even know how that still is the way it is. Um, platypus is free. I mean, what what more can I say? <laughs> it's it's free. You owe if you have two spots open, you buy sell it. You immediately get two health. You you potentially get something working with Buffalo. You potentially get something working with any other buy sell pet. Even though this isn't a buy sell pack, I think Platypus is insane. Let's go with Lynx because it's incredibly powerful. Rooster, incredibly powerful. And I think we can round this off with one more Scaler. So Manatee is incredibly good. Penguin is still very solid. Uh, Parrot is solid. We're not running Strawberries at all. So of course I wouldn't run Pelican. But if you are running Strawberries, Pelican is a must. Let's just do Manatee uh, to pick a new one. Because since we, didn't, uh, since we have Dragonfly, there's no need for Penguin really. Uh, banana. If if you aren't running banana, you are insane. Um, pear. I love pear a lot. And then the last one is sort of up to you. If you've got a lot of bipeds, uh, waffle is solid. Potato is actually really really good. I think canned food is very lackluster after the nerf. Grapes is actually pretty decent. I think it's uh, grapes is kind of like a sleeper. Grapes and cheese are very sleeper uh, foods, just because. You don't really see anyone buy it, but grapes, if you buy grapes, you just bought a, a tier one swan, which um, is pretty decent. You you have it for at least three turns. You've made your money back. Um, So it's sort of up uh, preference up to you, but let's go with cheese. I think cheese is very powerful. It's kind of like a steak, but it could be even better than a steak because it, of course, you attack double, not just plus 20. Tier five, again, tier five is super, super strong. Um, we could easily throw in Nurse Shark Miala at any point, but I think tried and true, always cow, always monkey, always eagle, you can pill it at any point, always zebra, always blue ringed, and then you sort of uh, can pick and choose what you want from here. I think Crane is insane, so we take Crane. Um, I like to use Turkey as a lobster. I hardly ever really use it with summons. Uh, but of course, you can pivot to something like that with Eagle at any point. Uh, Shark is incredibly powerful. Seal is incredibly powerful. I like Poodle a lot, but I feel like if you have so many other scalers, you don't you stop needing them as much. You can just start picking other things. But let's just go with Seal. We're gonna have some decent food in here, so it's fine. We can go with Shark. Uh, crocodile is always good for. Um, what is it called? Countering a backline pets. What do we want to pick here, though? I would say Silver Fox is really, really good since they made it before attack. So let's go Silver Fox. And we're not going to go Trumpets at all, even though that's clearly insane. Uh, let's just go with Poodle. Poodle or Crocodile. Even Scorpion is really good there. Um, since we have Seal, I actually prefer Taco over Stew at just about any point. Of course, you need chocolate. That's a 100% take. And then you can choose whether you want stew, taco, or sushi. I normally prefer taco since we do run broccoli up there. And then your choice of pepper or lemon. Situationally, I think pepper is always stronger, but lemon can go crazy. Now, if you have your garlic here, it's a little less incentive to run lemon because you already have the garlic. So we'll take a pepper. And then tier 6 is probably... You, you probably have like the most diversity of what you want to go. Must picks, oyster, alpaca. Um, those two, I think those two are must picks. If you, you have to have them in your pack 
to to be able to compete with some of these other uh, people. And then we kind of can just go from here. What's really strong, Highland Cow, German Shepherd. You swap a Tamron onto either of those two, you're probably just winning the game. Uh, let's get... I always like pilling Mammoth a lot. So I normally just get Mammoth in. Also, Mammoth from Eagle is very good. Uh, Octo is incre incredibly powerful. Stego to keep you in the game. Um... You could even pick Lioness, like Lioness is pretty decent. I don't like taking Hammer Shark that much, but Hammer Shark is actually really good. Uh, let's go with Bop. I think Bird of Paradise is really good, especially if you have Silver Fox or any other type of um, money generation. And then, let's see, the last two. Cat is always incredibly powerful, as, even if you don't have that many foods. If, if Cat works a couple of times, you're probably going crazy. And then Leopard. Now we can easily replace something like, oh, uh, screw Stego, let's get Tiger in. Because Tiger with Octo, Tiger Leopard, Tiger Mammoth, Tiger just about anything is incredibly good. And then with the Tier 6 foods, you, you've got a decent bit of options. But notoriously, melon is one of the best things. Chicken leg is probably one of the second best things. It's just better than every food. You always get 3-3 from it. If you have any food pet with it, it just makes it that much better. And then you can sort of decide what you want to go from there. Soft ice is decent, but again, we're not going like a full food. Uh, pita bread I don't think is nowhere anywhere near as good as melon. Uh, pretzel... Again, you got to go with like a food build. Chicken leg, I think, is most of the time better than pretzel. Um, but I think the the last option here would either be mushroom or steak. I think we, we normally take chicken leg over pizza because it's targeted. We get to actually choose where those buffs go, whereas pizza can fuck you. So let's go with mushroom. I, I find mushroom to be significantly better in most situations especially with what we've got going on here. We've got German Shepherd, we've got Mammoth, we've got Octo, we've got Eagle. Those alone um, warrant a mushroom in here. And now, all of a sudden, we have a very, very strong pack. This is probably going to look something similar to my Greed pack, I would say. Just, But all we did was fill it with incredibly powerful pets, and you're going to get some wins with this pack, I, I assure you. Um, I'll change... Uh, you, of course, you can change your icon here. We'll change it to my son. And, I mean, that's that. So, I hope you learned something here. I hope we could help out some free-to-play players with their custom packs. Like I said, if, if you are... If you're going to purchase any pack because you want to play customs, not because you want to play the base packs. If you want to play the base packs, I'd probably go with Golden because it's very fun. It's very new. So many people are playing it. And overall, it's relatively balanced because Highland Cow and German Shepherd aren't incredibly broken like they are in customs. But I think Star Pack is going to get you there just because of Clownfish Blobfish. You get them super early. Um... You're also getting other very powerful things like Crow. The experience gain that you get from here is nutty. You get Leech Camel, you get Jellyfish. You're getting a lot of stuff to, to help you out in the early game, and I think that's where a lot of people have their problems. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Make sure to politely smack that like button's ass on your way out. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.